Hi everybody, my name is Valinor, and I'm a friend of Rupert's. Today I'd like to talk to everyone about ritual tools. Some pagans make their own tools, and some choose to buy their tools from a store or craftsman. Some like tools that are very ornate, and others like tools that are exactly as nature has forged them, simple and unadorned. The important thing is that the tool has meaning to you. As long as you feel a connection with the tool, the item will work for you in your ritual practice. Do not feel limited, limited by what others may think of as traditional and what you utilize in your observances. I've cast circle with many different objects, some which others might feel inappropriate. I've cast circle with a bubble wand, a toy glitter wand, and even a pinwheel. At other times I've utilized an absolutely beautiful rose quartz wand or a simple piece of driftwood found lying on a beach. Regardless of whether an item was a traditional tool or not, the items I chose to use always had meaning to me and a connection to what the working was that I was doing. I have here an arrangement of tools from my personal collection. I chose these items because each is associated with masculine energy. Although in some ways very different, each of these tools can be used for similar tasks. These tools are all designed to focus energy outward towards a specific goal or intent. Let's look at each item individually. The first item is called a wand. A wand is a small stick-like object, usually, but not always, made out of wood. It can be decorated very simply, like this item, which is just an unadorned stick, or very fancy, like this that I built myself. It has several stones on it, some wrapping and a crystal on top or anywhere in between. We follow the wand with what may be considered its big brother, the staff. A staff can be decorated in much the same wand, much the same way rather as a wand, and apart from being able to be used as a walking stick, is used similarly in ritual. Next we have an athame although some people may pronounce it as a thami. I pronounce it athame. The athame is a small blade that is used to cut spiritual ties in ritual. The athame is not used to cut physical objects. There is another tool which is used for physical cutting called a bolin. A bolin is usually a small white handled knife, such as what I have here. The athame also has its big brother, the ritual sword. Although the sword is much bigger than the athame, it's used in the same manner. As with the athame, the ritual sword should not be used against physical objects. Each of the tools that we have discussed can be used in ritual as, fo as focus for magical energies. The important thing to remember, however, is that these items are only tools. The most important part of any ritual is you. Performing a ritual does not require any of these items. It only needs you. And now you know a little bit more about some of the tools of the craft and what they're used for. And one of the most important things you'll ever learn is that you are the most important tool of all. Thank you so much for joining us today, Balinor. We hope you'll come back and do a few more segments right here at the Glitter Dome in the Friends of Rupert studio. And you know, he's got some really amazing songs and I hope he'll share them with us very soon. 
And speaking of singing, let's hop right along and do the mirror chant. Come on! 